even with everything we saw, uh, Dubai, uh, uh, and this is also according to uh, the numbers we got, we, we got uh, almost 10 billion uh, dirham uh, expected capital for the first five months, which is in such times is, is very challenging, but uh, it was done. And this is also when a time of we recorded 155 new FDI projects. These are uh, elements that shows that a place is, is interesting, but at the same time, we have to be, you know, taking the right measures for businesses when they come back. Fahad, before we let you go, the numbers have been circulating about uh, small and medium businesses and the amount of them that are going to be impacted by COVID-19. The latest I heard was something like 70 percent of small and medium businesses across the Emirates are going to have to fold as a result of this crisis. Where are the numbers that you see? I see something um, alongside the, any any business today uh, or any destination today that is active in FDI will suffer from that. But you have to, to, to take alongside that, uh, that we will look at it that despite the decline in Greenfield, uh, FDI Global, at the beginning of the uh, 2020, Dubai has successfully maintained its leading position on, on global FDI destinations uh, for the first five months of, of the year. Uh, we were ranked uh, second globally in greenfield capital flows and third globally in number of FDI projects during this period, according uh, to financial times of the market. Um, when we look at it, we also have to realize where we are in global cities and what we are, uh, you know, uh, looking at to, to try to bring back to the small and medium-sized companies. And overall market, we, we are... You know, uh, while facing challenges, there are fundamentals of, of the place. There are the resilience parts. When we will look at it, and when we will look at coming back, we have to work closely with investors to support announced FDI, which suffers from low realization of, of the COVID-19 impact.